Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you know that I have Instagram? It's true. You just search Guitargate, same as my website. And uh, I get a message on there from Owen Canavan from True Grit Management. Look at this sexy beast. He wants me to check out South of Eden. He sends me I mean, it feels like bam. <laughs> Dancing with Fire. So I guess this is one of their acts. And uh, you guys know I always like appreciate, I always appreciate people from the industry reaching out to me because it makes me feel like I do something legitimate, right? Nice to have that. So, Owen, this is for you, South of Eden, Dancing with Fire, live from Sonic Lounge Studios, Ice Cold. Yeah, yeah I'm feeling it. One more back at the back and we... Back at the... One more back at the back. Let's watch that again. Wow. Be One wow. more back at the back of it and we back at the All those little, it's like a, it's like a Van Halen meets Rival Sons kind of vibe, you know? Um, let's keep going. So real quick, they're tuned in E flat, I'm tuned in standard. So if you look at them, it looks like this riff is coming in on D uh, with them, but for me it's like C sharp that. But these, so, so these are inverted power chords, right? So where your root is actually on the third string and the fourth string is playing the fifth, right? So this is C sharp, B, Power chord, same as going, but, and then same thing over here when you move over to the second string. Now they're going up to get it, but I just, because it sounded like a fourth, I went over a fourth, it happened to be there, happened to be right, went with it, rocked over here. You have to change your fingering because you have to account for the tuning discrepancy with the second string. But that's still, E power chord to F sharp. But this little part in here that, that you heard, see these never sound right. When Eddie did it, he would detune that second string a little bit to get that what he called, I don't know if he called it it or people just call it, my cousin David told me about it, the beatless third. If you notice when you play with distortion and you play anything that isn't a perfect interval, so meaning either the root and fifth, or fifth and root, because that's a fourth, they're both perfect intervals, just inverted. You get this, if I play the third, all of a sudden you hear that beating and you're like, I'm out of tune. But then you check your tuner like you did before our video and it's all green, you're like, what's going on? That is a thing with distortion. So Eddie used to always tune that second string down just a shade to get that beatless third. So anyway, sounds like he did that because it sounded clean when he did it. When I did it, it sounds like garbage. But that little major triad, this is the point I'm trying to get to. The major triad, <laughs> sussing it out, that is, a, that is a bright Van Halen kind of thing. But it's got that, I keep thinking like Rival Sons kind of uh, 
groove vibe to it. It's a cool mix. I'm telling you, that's a little hook. Ba -da, ba -da, that, that. Love that slow down. The tempo changes, man. Okay, uh, that was cool. What stands out to me is the Tony Iommi influence. Uh, that uh, your lead playing is a riff. And the second the thought came into my brain, it was matched with the bass, just like Geezer used to do. Um, uh, and it's just, I, I just, I love seeing that. Tony Iommi was such a massive influence on me. And I think about it all the time when I go to take leads. Once I, when I get noty or I start doing tremolo stuff. And I'm just like, no, man. Everything can be a riff. Everything can be a hook. You know, just like the dime bag was the same way. So I love seeing that. And then back to Van Halen. Okay, I love that he matched it on the vocals and they go to halftime. I love how much fun they're having and how loose it is. Um, the tempo is moving a little bit, uh, but it's live, like it should be. And I also just love that there's no track, that you're taking a lead just with the bass. Again, a la Van Halen, a la Tony Iommi, right? I love that. Just like, no, there's no rhythm track. Who, dime bag. Who needs a rhythm track? I love bands that just do that still, you know? And just, but make it riff based right it's not like a progression like a chord based thing like we're riffing in our lead section with no rhythm part Awesome. 
South of Eden, Dancing with Fire. Key takeaways for me. Um, this is a band where the, the, the influences of each of the members are front and center. Like it's so, it's so apparent to me. Um, like it, it just, it just, it just stands out. Like that, that major chord being sussed out. That is so Van Halen, man. The, the first lead part, like it is so Tony Iommi. But I, I hear like the Rival Sun style singing in there, and then obviously like the EVH lead part. I, the, the way they arranged it, ending with the drum solo. Uh, it's live. They're having fun. It's super hooky, right? The guy can sing his ass off. Uh, Owen, right? Was it you, Owen? Owen? Thank you, sir. I wish you luck. Wish you guys luck south of Eden. And thank you all for watching and tuning in and subscribing and all those good things. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can take my lessons and my courses, step-by-step -step curriculum, by joining my community. First link in the description. It's called GuitarGate. It makes everything free here on YouTube possible, and I'd love to be your online teacher. And um, that's my little, that's my little pitch. And Owen, stay casual out there, brother. I'll see you in Nashville. Thanks for turning me on to South of Eden. Cheers.